Yo, what's up guys? This channel is sponsored and brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run a business. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Fitty Cal. We're back with another video. You already know what time it is. I know I've been missing, but that's only because I've been growing my beard. Don't hate on me. You see my shit getting thick. I know y'all see that. But look, y'all know everything I talk about is basketball. And today I got a topic I kind of want to share with y'all to see how y'all feel about it. Because I know we're going to have different sides to this. And I want to title the video, Choosing an NBA Superstar's Ability. And I'm going to break that down so you can understand what I mean. So I'm not just saying words. You get to pick out four superstars. And of these four superstars, you get to obtain one of their abilities that brought them so much success in the NBA. Now, out of these four superstars, you only get to pick one and only one. There's no confusing, and this one with that one, or can I just have this one for a little while and pick up this? No, you get one ability based on your type. So, like, let's say if in real life, like you, yes, you, the guy I'm pointing to right now, you, right here. Say you, like, 5'8". Say you got a friend who plays ball, and he's, like, 6'5". I doubt y'all gonna pick the same ability, right? You know what I'm saying? With you being shorter, you're gonna want something that fits your game because you're more quick, trying to, you know, get a shot off or run the, run the play that coach wants you to run if that's your preferred ability. <laughs> so, I wanna dive into the video by me going first. I'll definitely stop, give you guys a chance to run in the comments. And of course, it'll be after the video. That'll be something I can do later. I'll break down each ability and why I would or would not choose it. And uh, let's start that off. Number one. Let's start off with the big fella. No. Not Shaq. Kareem. Yes. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has, what, six championships? The number one scorer in all of basketball history. And his patented move was, of course, this is pronouncedly known around the world as one of the most famous moves to ever be done in basketball. It's the hook shot. Te technically known in, in the streets as the sky hook. That's what the uh, old heads before me who were playing ball called it. You know, So if you would say hook shot, they say they can all do a hook shot. But when you say the sky hook, they know you're talking about Kareem. <laughs> but personally, I would not choose this ability. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the sky hook. With me in a guard play style of game, that's not what I'm looking for. Now, if I'm playing with a big guy, I'm not going to underappreciate his value. I'm going to feed him the ball, especially looking at the stats that Kareem had. So if I'm playing with somebody who even got a third of that, you know what I'm saying? Feed him the ball. But as far as Kareem and that sky hook goes, that's it for that. Next up, probably the most goaded shooter in all of basketball. Steph Curry. Yeah, I said it. Probably the most goaded shooter in all the basketball, Steph Curry. Now, I don't mean, you know, fadeaways and stuff like that. I mean, pull up threes, free throws. You understand. You see all the crazy shit this dude doing. Shooting from the other half of the court. Shooting from the other people's free throw line. This shit is ridiculous, bro. So, I don't think the title of arguing who's the best shooter of all time, I don't think that's still up for debate. Even though, shout out to my uh, late great shooters, Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, Larry Bird. Much big respect, but you know, when all the records have been broken and my boss still in the league, I kind of feel that, you know, it's it becomes plain after that. But I want to get into his jump shot and everything that he does. Would you guys take the Steph Curry ability? I mean, his pure shooting. To be able to shoot like Curry. I mean, come in the game, coach doesn't know you, undrafted, whatever, you're coming out of your living room, bam, you're going to the NBA. Would you take Stephen Curry's ability? This is number two. Now, me personally, yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I fucking would. I mean, I'm 5'11", 6 foot. I'm going in there against the trees. For y'all who don't know what trees is, those are footers, 7 footers or 6 foot 10 and above, protecting the damn room. You're going to need some kind of finesse on your side that that wows the big man that forces him to come out of the paint, you know? And um, there's some other quoted good shooters out there, but 
Curry shooting this shit contested, bro. You know, six foot, seven foot, five foot, no foot, and he pulling up from deep. Like this, this is unlike we've ever seen before. So in that regard, um. Out of these four abilities, this is the one I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Stephen Curry. This next person I want to talk about is the complete opposite of shooting. There's no shooting involved with this guy today. Shaquille O'Neal. Probably. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure the most dominant center to ever play basketball. Yeah. If I had to go back in time and find somebody who could guard Shaq, it would be another Shaq. Yeah, that, that's how bad that was. And when it comes to Shaquille O'Neal, of course he's known for his, his brute strength, of course, like being unstoppable under the rim. So the question I ask, would you like to come into the NBA and be as dominant as Shaquille O'Neal? You won't be able to shoot free throws worth the fuck. Now, okay, now look. I love Shaq just like everybody else. You know, funny guy. Was great in the league. You know, top 10 player to me. But let's be real. Those percentages at the free throw line, man. You know, he did what he could. I understand that his hands, his hands bigger than my face. I get that. But uh, the numbers are there. You know, I'm not making this up. I'm, I'm pulling from the stats. Uh, these percentages, Shaq. As a shooter... Already hating to miss sometimes. I can't vibe with the whole dominant thing. You know, I once again I would love to play with that, but me already liking to be a guard, establishing myself with getting jump shots and you know some slight ball handling. I'd have to say no to the dominance. And last but not least, this is probably the most goaded player in all of basketball. Period. Michael Jordan. I don't think I even need to name his ability. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Like, I don't even, do I even really need to? The fadeaway. Yeah, the, the, the fadeaway that Kobe tried to copy for years and years and years, which he did come pretty close, by the way. I don't think anybody else going to come close to that, obviously. But I'm not even going to brag on him because his highlights do it enough. Would you or would you not? Like to come into the league with the jump, come, I mean, walk into the league, whatever age you are right now. And no, I'm not talking about you teenagers, if you're, if you're under 18 watching this video, because clearly you're not getting drafted. And yes, I know Kobe got signed at 17. Don't try to fucking stat check me. Don't try to fact check me. I know he signed at 17, his parents signed a contract for him, but that's not what I'm talking about. 18 or older. Walk into the league, bam, you got the Jordan fadeaway. Y'all already know you're getting coaches' attention from practice or the tryout, whatever it is. Now, I thought long and hard about this because that I, I do like the fadeaway now. But I noticed my game has taken a slight turn and I've been doing a lot of step backs. And I know um, a couple of y'all probably upset I don't have the step back mentioned in here because of my style of play. But that might be in a part two to this video depending on how many likes and comments that I do get. So if y'all show me love, I could come back with a part two. Real, real talk here. Fact check me on that. Show me, show me love in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. But back to the Jordan fadeaway. Tell me if you guys would take that or not. I mean, it's a patent move. It was unstoppable. He got six rings, three out of three in the finals every time he went, three peating. I mean, what? <sighs> Almost unquestionable. Like I said, it was hard for me, but out of all four of these abilities, I end up taking the Stephen Curry jump shot because, I mean, that thing is just wet water, bro. It's the, it's the new generation of basketball. It's what everybody is doing right now, so... <sighs> I think that's what I would take. Now, I want to thank everybody who watched the video. Once again, big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring the guy. Whole lot of gang shit does. Thank you. Appreciate it. And um, I'll be back with another one like this. If y'all show me enough love in the comments, I repeat, if you show me enough love in the comments, y'all really let me know how y'all feel so I can produce more content for y'all that's something that y'all favor. So um, if you're new, like the video, subscribe, 
so you can be notified when I do drop new content so I don't get all these messages on my Twitter about how, how you don't know when the video's coming out and you're late on it. You can be notified ASAP. Do that for your boy. But until then, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back till next time. Okay. Yo, what's up, guys? This channel is sponsored and brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run a business. Their beautiful designer templates makes creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects. And this is either whether you're promoting your main gig or your little side hustle. Not to mention the 24-7 online customer servers. Great service, bro. Two ways you can get in touch with them. You can do a live chat or go through email. Either way, they'll get in touch with you, help you out with everything that you need help with. You can also attend a live webinar to help you with information you may or may not understand that's available for you. Plus, there's always available help guides. You know, things to help you along the way, just to keep you on path. Also, they have great marketing tools. You can stand out in any inbox with Squarespace. With more than 30 starter layouts to choose from, you can announce a product, send an invitation, or share update with your subscribers and customers. Email campaigns are easily accessible and can be made anywhere. It's simple to set up or transfer your domains with Squarespace. It's never been easier to sell products or services online. Squarespace easily allows you to manage your products, inventory, and orders. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com and save 10% on your first purchase. I got you right, right here, right on top of my hand. 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Don't forget that, website or domain. Until then, thanks for watching the video. Another big shout out to Squarespace, and I'm gone.